So uh, welcome to Dr. Newman today. Hello, Mark. Well, hello, Steve. It's good to be here. Thank you for having me on your show. So tell me a little bit about yourself and why you're running for Congress. Sure. Um, I like to say that I married into Wisconsin. I grew up in Southern Illinois um, in a little town on the Mississippi River called Quincy. And I became enamored with the life of the Franciscans who were serving in our local church there. And I became a Franciscan and ended up spending some time working as a missionary doctor in Africa. Um, when I came back to the United States in the 90s, I think I had given up my Albert Schweitzer hero uh, idealism a little bit. It kind of got beat out of me, perhaps. And I settled down and found my wife-to-be and moved into Wisconsin. I like to say I married into Wisconsin. And then about 10 years ago, we moved from Madison to um, La Crosse, Wisconsin. I got to that magical sort of 65 retirement age, and I would have to claim that I'm, I'm a boomer of the boomer generation, but not a tired boomer. Although I spent the first third of my life preparing for a really fine career, and the second third, the middle third, executing it as best I could. But the time was right for me to hang up the stethoscope because it was quite strenuous to be up at all hours caring for very sick children. And I found a young, younger doctor to take over the task, but I wasn't ready to, to stop. And looking around, it was real important to me to do the best I can to leave the world a little better. And I was, I've become concerned about our political circumstances. This, um, wonderful experiment of democracy that our country's been trying to do for 250 years. And every age has its own challenges. And I just didn't want to be 10 years older someday, you know, like 77 and look back and say, gosh, I wish it was still better. And I didn't do what I could have done when I had the strength and ability to give of myself. So I'm running for Congress because I think that, um, when we go to the polls, we should be able to make a choice. And it's nice we, when we go to a primary to have at least two candidates on the ballot. And I think I have some perspectives on opportunities for improving our governance that are at difference uh, with our congressmen. So that's what I'm doing.